Okay, hey everyone, how's it going? It's your brother Noah Hines. I hope that you guys are blessed in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. And today I'm going to be praying for your deliverance. I'm going to be praying over your finances, for you to have prosperity, for you to not be in lack, and for any witchcraft to be broken off your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I do believe that uh, there are times where we go through trials and we should not be living in the prosperity gospel, but I do believe that God does want us to walk in the abundant life, and I do believe that God wants us to inherit the blessings that he has for us. I do believe that there are demonic spirits that can try to withhold, try to, you know, stop the blessings that God has for you from flowing unto you. So I'm going to be praying for you today in the name of Jesus, not to be a rich and famous celebrity Christian, but just to inherit the things that God has for you and that you would be blessed and that you'd be able to walk in the fullness of all that God has for you planned in your life, including financially as well too. So Anyways, guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to this channel to not miss future videos about deliverance and other Christian-related topics. And if you guys know people that also need deliverance, share these prayers with them. Send them these prayers. And, uh, you know, if you guys watch these videos all the way through, that actually helps other people receive the videos as well, too. Think about that. Other people can receive deliverance prayer if you watch the video in its entirety because YouTube will actually further push those videos out when that is the case. Anyways, that's enough talk about that. We're going to jump into the prayer. Make sure you find a comfortable place where you're not going to be distracted as you listen to this prayer so that you can... Uh, you know, focus on the Lord and receive it by faith and not be distracted as, uh, as I'm praying. So, yeah, guys, you don't have to pray at all, okay? I will just pray for you in the name of Jesus. You may experience outward manifestations and you may not. Either way is fine. We're praying by faith. Amen. Okay, so, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for my brothers and sisters. Lord, I thank you. That your word says, Father, the scriptures say that we are co-heirs with Christ, that we have an inheritance because we are co-heirs with Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that my brothers and sisters would be able to receive all of the blessings that you have for them. The fullness, Father God, of the blessings that you have for them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise and we give you thanks. I pray, Father, that any poverty curses, any witchcraft curses that have come down the bloodline to try to choke out their finances, to try to choke out their dreams and their aspirations, we break it off their lives right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we break off every poverty curse in Jesus' name. I thank you, Father, that they are blessed and not cursed. So in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every day demonic spirit that hears the sound of my voice, poverty mentality. We command it to go right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lack, all demons that cause lack, lack at work, lack of favor with co-workers, lack of favor with employers, lack of favor with people. We break it off right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, your word says that you are the one that can open the door that no man can open and close the door that no man can close. So I pray every demonic door would be closed. And Father, that you would open doors of abundance in their lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, your word says that if we ask you for a fish, you will not give us a snake. So we thank you, Father, that you give better gifts even than we that get, uh, give to our own children. So in the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, I pray that they would have faith in your blessings, in your favor, Father God. Father, any doubt or unbelief that comes in the way of them receiving blessings, we command it to go from them right now. And Father, your word said to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all else will be added. To not worry about what you will eat or drink. To not worry about tomorrow, for sufficient is the evil thereof of today. So all fear of financial ruin, all fear of starvation, all fear of the end time, 
times, starvation in the end times. We break that fear off in Jesus' name. The word of God says, I have never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. So we thank you for the promises in your word, Father. I pray that they would be able to trust you as their provider. I pray that they'd be able to trust you, Father God, as the one that, that supplies all of their needs, Father. Your word says that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, that we should know how to abase and know how to abound. So in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father, that in all life circumstances, you supply all of our needs richly in Christ Jesus. Father, your word says that Jesus Christ became poor, that we might become rich. So we thank you, Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that they be blessed with their finances. Father, any demons that are causing a drainage of their finances, random drainage within the bank accounts, we break it off their lives right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All demons that cause stress and bickering in the household, in the family, about finances, we break that stress and that bickering off right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All demons that make people worry worry, fear, come out right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, any curses that came down from, uh, from Freemasonry, shamanism, that came down through fortune tellers, any witchcraft curses that came on the bloodline even through the sins of the ancestors, we break it off right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every demonic spirit that hears the sound of my voice, go from them right now. Go demons, you have to release them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that they'd be able to freely receive your blessings by faith. Lord, your word says the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men. Lord, I pray that they would not be striving to try to gain your favor, Father God, but that they'd be able to receive it by faith. All demons that block people from receiving kingdom blessings by faith, I break it off right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you that we are a part of your kingdom. Father, we are citizens of the kingdom of God. And as citizens, you provide for us, Father. So I thank you, Lord, that they be able to trust in your providence in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, every demonic spirit that is coming to try to block them at work, trying to uh, try to block them from receiving promotions, try to block them from receiving favor with their co-workers, I break it off right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any infirmity spirits that would try to cause illness or physical ailments to stop them from working at what God has called them to do. We break it off right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Fear that your career will no longer be able to be worked. Feel, fear that your field of work will dry up. We break that fear off right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you that you work all things out for the good of those who love you. Any demonic spirits of covetousness that make them try to compromise, steal, commit thievery, compromise at the place of work, lie at the place of work for money, lying, thieving for money, we break those temptations off their life in the name of Jesus. All demonic spirits of thievery and lying and compromise that are rooted down in the soul that give them fear of finances. We break fear of finances off the life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ right now. Father, help them to follow your kingdom and your righteousness, to seek your kingdom and your righteousness first, Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that they would be willing to suffer loss for the sake of the gospel. Father, your word says, whoever forsakes land, sister, mother, or brother in this life will receive a hundredfold and in the life to come, receive a hundredfold if they do it for the gospel's sake. So, Lord, I pray that they'd be able to trust you in forsaking the riches of this world. Lord, your word says about Moses in the book of Hebrews that he chose to suffer persecution with the children of God, with the people of God, as opposed to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Father, your word says that he did not choose to... 
as opposed to being called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Father, your word says that he chose to suffer affliction with the people of God and to not enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, to not enjoy the pleasures of Egypt. Father, any demonic spirits that lead my brothers and sisters to try to indulge in Egypt, try to indulge in Babylon, we break it off right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every demonic spirit of covetousness that makes people envy other people's possessions, working from a place of envy, I break it off right now in the name of Jesus. Father, any demonic spirits that lead people to, to chase success, to chase uh, business success out of a place of competition, out of a place of, of exalting themselves over their neighbors, I break it off. All pride over finances, pride over material possessions, pride over your house, pride over your lawn. I break it off right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every spirit of pride over achievements in life, I command it to go from them right now in the powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All pride, competitiveness, I break it off right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any spirits of impatience, demons that make people impatient to provide for their families, feeling like you have to step down on others, feeling like you have to put others down in order for your family to be provided for, I break it off. Every demon that gives the people the mentality of every man for himself, I break it off in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ right now. We command every demonic spirit to release them. You devils have to go. You demons that make them love money, love of money. We uproot that root right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. False security, false comfort. Every demonic spirit that makes people feel comforted in an abundance of possession, in an abundance of wealth, we command it to go right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out, spirits. We command you to flee in Jesus' name. We command you to flee all the way up and out. Fear of stepping into ministry because of fear of loss of finances. I break it off in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Fear of donating to ministries. Fear of sowing into ministries. Paranoid fear that every ministry does things wrong with money that does underhanded things. We break that, that paranoia off. All church hurt that has resulted in not financially advancing the kingdom. I command church hurt to go right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All church hurt that came in through false wolf pastors, I break it off right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We command you demons out. Every man for himself mentality. I break it off right now. All covetousness over the inheritance of parents. Father, I come against every generational curse that has come down through fighting and bickering over receiving the inheritance of the parents. All enmity between brothers and sisters, enmity between siblings that has come in as a result of fighting over inheritance from the parents. I break it off right now. Bitterness, unforgiveness that has entered in through finances in the family. We break it off right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Father, we lose prosperity into their soul in the name of Jesus. I pray that their health would prosper. I pray that their finances would prosper, Father God, and not through means of the flesh, not through means of selfish ambition or self-seeking reasons, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I pray that they would be content. Father, your word says to be content with our wages. Father, your word says in the book of Proverbs that we would not be made too rich and that we would not be made too poor. Poor. Lord, I pray that they be able to be content with exactly what you've provided for them. Because I know, Father, what you've provided them with is exactly what they need, Father God. So help them, Lord, to trust in your providence in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that they be able to receive the blessings and inheritance with patience and with faith, Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So every demonic spirit that is manifesting, we command you out right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All demons that are coming to spoil the finances, spoil the dreams, spoil aspirations and ambitions. Every demonic spirit that's holding people back from starting a ministry, starting a business, starting a new job, laziness, procrastination that leads to poverty. The word of God says a little idleness of, uh, of, of hands and poverty will come upon you. 
Poverty can come upon you if you have idleness of hands. So all curses and demonic spirits of procrastination and laziness, I break it off their lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ right now. Come up and out. Hatred of jobs, hatred of responsibilities, hatred of working for other people, despisement and rebellion, rebellion spirits that rise up in their place of work. I break it off their lives right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come up and out, spirits, right now. Go. Father, your word says, when a man's ways please the Lord, he causes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Lord, I pray for peace in their place of work in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that they would be able to esteem the interests of others as more highly than their own, even in the place of work, even with regards to finances, Father God. So we thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, please fill them with your Holy Spirit. Please fill them with assurance Father God, that you will provide for them in the name of Jesus. Fear of ga gas prices going up, we break it off. Fear of financial crisis, fear of the dollar collapsing, fear of, of the food prices going up, we break it off their lives in Jesus' name. Father, please fill them with wisdom, practical wisdom to be able to take advantage of the things that you've given them, the, the resources that you've given them, Father. I pray that the devil would not be able to beguile them out of the blessings that you have given them, Father. Father God, but with wisdom and authority, they would be able to stand their ground, Father. So we thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, please bless them with the presence of your Holy Spirit as assurance to know that they will be blessed and taken care of and provided for, Father God. Father, your word says you care about every detail of our lives. Father, your word says that you have all of the hairs of our head numbered, Father God. So we thank you, Lord, for your great care for our lives. Lord, help us to trust in you in that regard in the name of Jesus and to not turn to the strength of the flesh. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that they would see supernatural providence of money, of food in their lives in the name of the Lord Jesus, that Father, you would supernaturally provide for them in a way that is not explainable by human reasoning. We thank you, Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that they'd be able to step out in faith in such a fashion, Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, we give you praise and we give you thanks, Father God. May they be settled in assurance in you, Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Father. We give you praise and we give you thanks, Father God. Father, please fill them overflowing with your Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray that all anxiety and heaviness would be completely broken off their lives today, Father. In Jesus' powerful name, Father God, we thank you and we give you praise. So God bless you guys in the name of Jesus Christ. If you would like, you can listen to this prayer again. If you're still feeling God's Spirit working in you. And uh, I just uh, praise God, you know, for the opportunity to be able to pray for you guys. I hope that you are being blessed by these prayers. If you are still, uh, or if you are being blessed by these prayers and you've, you've noticed radical transformation in your life, you've noticed the ability to overcome sin better, you've noticed yourself come closer to God and you have a testimony that you would like to share, please send me an email. I would love to do a short interview testimony with you about the deliverance that you've received. You know, it's very important to share these testimonies about deliverance because so many people need deliverance today, right? So anyways, guys, um, that's pretty much all that I have to say for this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And uh, may God bless you guys in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I will see you in the next video. Amen.